In addition to that, don't settle for less. When I say don't marry for the sake of marriage, don't settle for less. What do I mean by that? Yes, there are five Christians. All of them are all born again. By God's standard, they are all children of God. That means I can, they are not unequally yoked, unquote. But do you know not every Christian can marry you? No. So if God is saying to you, uh, brother A has come, sister B, uh, brother B has come, brother F has come, yet God is saying none of these. And you're like, God, why? And he may not give you a, a response, but he tells you categorically none of these. It's in your best interest to listen. Don't settle. Don't settle for less just because I have told God next year I must marry. Don't. Don't. You will regret it, I'm telling you. It's some of the mistakes singles make. They settle for less. And sometimes in God's faithfulness, you will keep at it and then things will just, you know, break down. And then you begin the cycle all over again. You need to heal. You need to position yourself again. You need to get rid of the back. You see, all that time, time is going. Until God says yes, don't get into any relationship. Are you listening to me? I can't say that enough. Until God says yes. So you see, in Christianity, the way we approach relationship is like the way the architect behaves or uh, executes his plans. When an architect wants to build a building, he draws the whole building. You can, he can give you the model of the building. You can actually see it live. This is where the bathroom is. This is where the staircase is. This is where the gate is. This is where the flowers will be. The whole building is finished from, from the beginning. The whole issue about your marriage should be finished, settled from the beginning. Because you're talking to who? The Alpha and the Omega. The one who knows the end from the beginning. But if you jump into it without God's opinion, you're on your own. He will walk with you to the level to which he can. But you will not have the best. Remember, there is the perfect will, there is the permissive will. Never walk into bl marriage blindly. Are we together? Never walk into marriage blindly. Every marriage should answer the question, why and what are we here for? You know, sometimes when you're counseling couples who say they want to get married, sometimes I ask them the question, write out for me, after marriage, what next? After your wedding day, what next? And most times, or some of the times, they have no clue. We so say, we go for honeymoon, I agree. After the moon, what next? Are you following me? Because in the concept of cleaving together, there must be things you're pursuing that bring you together. And it has to be bigger than just paying bills and uh, raising the children. Hallelujah. Don't settle for less. Let your confidence and trust in the best matchmaker maker of all times. Don't let it fade. God is the best matchmaker. He, will, he knows how to bring you in contact with that person. He knows how to. <laughs>